So this is my friend Peyton. How you doing? Thank you for participating and doing a video here at the Slabs. For sure. So tell me a little bit about yourself, man. Well, I'm 35. I was born in the 80s. I grew up, uh, my mom was a sort of a hippie. She married a lot. Had a few stepdads. Learned how to, uh, to pretty much just consider life and value it as it came as right or wrong you know a good example or a bad example you know on my own and then I uh, I tried to live the the life after school I uh, hitchhiked for about eight months I came out here to Slab City when I was 16 96 wow. Wow. and I stayed here for uh, almost two weeks it's just a day or two short of two weeks and I really got a sense of of the life out here and and what could be you know on the on the real down and dirty what, what exactly what you need and you know the monetary value was was very minute here back then even and uh, so I went back to Missouri and I lived with uh, my wife Ellen and uh, we've been together for 16 years and I've done the whole society and worked for a living done a lot of different jobs and, and just realized that you know I'd, I'd be a lot more happier out here on the road so last year I, I sold my my house and my property and my trucks and I bought an old bus and converted it into an RV and I've been traveling on on the road for about a year went up to Washington after Denver and then down to Astoria, Oregon, where I worked at the KOA for about three months. And then I moved on down to the coast, down on to California, and down here to Slab City, back here. I've been here since January 2nd, about three months now. And uh, really getting back into, you know, life like it was when I was a kid, you know, when I came out when I was 16. Uh -huh. Yeah, really getting back into that. Learned how to make jewelry from my friend John. He uh, he's a really good artist, and he took time to teach me how to make wire wraps. Mm -hmm. And I'm just I'm gonna pursue that and try to try to perfect that and use that for uh, for to substantiate my my life on the road. So tell me a little bit about your what's that like living on the road? Oh, I love it. It's just uh, I guess freedom. You know, that's, that's what's the best thing about it, is being able to just do whatever you want, you know. If I feel like going north, I go north. If I feel like staying where I'm at, then that's what I do. You know, it's just the ultimate freedom, you know, kind of like... Do you find it to be a little bit like you, you probably lose a little comfort oh, yeah. living on the road compared to living in the house? Definitely, yeah. It's a lot of work out here. You got to you gotta work to, to get everything you need water, food, you know, you, your company, you, you got to go out and find it, you know, and I'm constantly meeting new people and making new friends, you know, it's, it's pretty awesome being able to do that, you know, it's just out here living yeah. on the road. Have you been to a rainbow gathering? No, 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 I have not yet, I mean, I'm, I'm going to yeah. be out here and, and I'm, I've decided I'm going to live in my bus till I'm 100. So. Right on, brother. So I'm going to I'm gonna experience so much, you know, yeah. I'm just getting my feet wet, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait to, can't wait to live it up. So what, what else would you want to say to people about this lifestyle? Man, you just, you just got to go for it, you know. You know, so if you want to, if you just always wanted to travel or, or see new things, man, you just got to, just got to let go. You know what you're comfortable with, and and open your mind, and and just do it. You know, most people are, are afraid. You know, they, they grew up in a in a career-based society, and and that's what they've gotten used to. That's where they find their comfort. And I think just a lot of more people need to need to break away from that.